What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the gaming and streaming pack to make videos like this one. So this video was made using Wondershare's Filmora video editor. It was done super easily and I'm going to show you exactly how you can make it in Filmora right now. So let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so here we are in Filmora video editor. So my project is here on the timeline. I see all my clips already pre-edited for you guys. And in this video, I'm showcasing some of the things you get in the gaming and streaming pack. If we go over to the titles and scroll down, we have the streaming gaming here. So in the titles, there are 29 different titles you could use. There's also a few transitions as well. And we also have 14 uh, elements. So some backgrounds here and some icons. If you want to see what they look like, you can literally just click on it and hit play. So that's one of the backgrounds that you get. Uh, the transitions are super cool as well, as you can see. Another preview like that. And the titles, if you want a preview, just hit play. So as the name suggests, these would be perfect for anyone who is a gamer. Maybe you have a YouTube gaming channel, you make video game montages, uh, like highlights, or you're a live streamer on Twitch or YouTube or whatever like that. And you just want some titles and some graphics to just make your videos look more slick, more professional, and they stand out more. So in my timeline, for example, I've put some of these titles here that you can see, for example, a new sub, social media, subscribe. Uh, you could customize that for whatever you want. If you're like, you know, doing a stream and you want like a donate button or you want to notify someone's just subscribed or you've got a new follower, etc., etc., or to just plug your channel and make calls to actions, stuff like that. These are fully customizable as well. You can literally just double click on the icon and this title group controller manages like the scale, for example, you could change the position. You can rotate it around and if you want to change the text you can double click that or you can write here for example write whatever text you want change the color uh, you can move the spacing between the text to make it look a bit more cinematic like so uh, you may also have noticed these really cool transitions uh, i've got one there and one and i've got another one over here as well and the transitions are really cool i think this would be really cool for like a highlight reel or something like that uh, it's on my timeline here already, but literally to to apply it, all you have to do is go to transitions, go to the transition that you like, like so, and literally just drag it into your timeline. If you want to make it longer, you can. If you want to make it shorter, you can make it as short as you want. It's the same thing with the titles as well. You literally just drag it into your timeline like so. I've also thrown in a few of these just regular kind of transitions. This is an, this one here is an orb spin and I've put this transition sound, which again, you can just go over to the audio. Very simply go to sound effects, find the transition sound you want, which was this one. There's also a really good library of music. So if you are interested in which song I use here, it was in the electronic section under inspiration. It was this track here. In terms of the titles, like I said, there are over 29 to choose from. And my really sort of personal favorite ones are these kind of ones here where you can showcase, for example, if you're doing like an esports title, you can show you like your team names or you can highlight individual player names. 
uh, they just look super cool and also we have these overlays so if you're streaming and you have your own face cam you want to show yourself to your audience or to even to your youtube video you can use these overlays I literally just dragged this overlay over this just sample footage that I had uh, of my face. And it's pretty much as simple as just dragging it. Again, like with all the other things, you can just double click on it. You can just double click on it to customize it however you want. Uh, but yeah, it was really simple to do that. Super easy. And like I said, uh, with Filmora, everything is really, really straightforward. It's literally just drag into your timeline and click if you want to customize it. So hopefully that gives you some inspiration for your own videos. Definitely highly recommend the streaming and gaming pack for any gamers out there. So I hope you found that video useful and it's got you inspired. I can't wait to see the content that you gamers and streamers can come up with. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Turn on all those notifications and hope to see you next time. All right, bye guys.